Hello, Dr. Joe here of the AskDrJoe.org and the Trend 20 forum.com. So, anti-cancer new trend available in broccoli. How do you amplify the anti-cancer new trend that is available in broccoli by up to 50 times? How do you do that? Well, that is the subject of this very video. We're going to be talking about that. But I suppose your first question is going to be, what is this anti-cancer new trend that is available in broccoli? Well, the answer is sulforaphane. Sulforaphane is the name of the anti-cancer nutrient that is of interest to us in this very broccoli. Now, you may want to know how sulforaphane prevents cancer or reduces our risk of cancer. Well, it's because sulforaphane has been shown to prevent DNA damage in our cells. Anything that prevents DNA damage in our cells is protective of the cells. It stops the cells from turning cancerous. And that's the reason why sulforaphane is important to us uh, in this very video. And that's the reason why we should be consuming lots of broccoli. Now, uh, you know, a few words about broccoli. The first thing you may want to know is that broccoli belongs to the brassica family, uh, which means it is a cruciferous vegetable. It has a very high nutrient density, hence it contains the sulforaphane that we're talking about here. What that means is we really should be eating broccoli quite often uh, because of the nutrient density. But I have to say that I have not been eating enough broccoli, mainly because I'm away from home so many days of the week. And when I'm away from home, I cannot eat the foods that I really want to. That's been a problem in itself. And also, my nutrition cycle works in a very weird way. I tend to concentrate on certain foods at certain times to the exclusion of others. So broccoli has not been in the running, but all of that is going to change. All of that is going to change now because I'm going to really start ramping up my consumption of broccoli. So the next valid question is, um, how do you amplify the sulforaphane content of uh, broccoli? Well, the answer to that question is that we are going to be eating broccoli sprouts, okay? Broccoli sprouts. That is how. Why is that? Well, it's because broccoli sprouts have a superior nutritional profile to the mature broccoli. There is still sulforaphane in this uh, very mature broccoli, but in broccoli sprouts, we have 50 times the amount that we have in the mature broccoli. So you may be wondering, what are broccoli sprouts? You may not be familiar with them. I'm gonna talk about them shortly. But before we do that, just a quick plug. This is my book on managing high blood pressure with lifestyle approach. Links to get a book right below this very video. So what are broccoli sprouts? We're gonna be talking about them now and indeed other types of uh, vegetable sprouts as well. Now, in case you're not familiar with what sprouted vegetables look like, I thought I'd show you clips of some sprouted vegetables that spongy looking bowl of vegetable you are seeing there that's sprouted broccoli they look like noodles but they're not noodles that's sprouted broccoli and uh, you're gonna see some more sprouted vegetables in the clips that are coming up now now, that's a bowl of sprouted radish for you to appreciate some other sprouted vegetables a lot more. The thing is, sprouted vegetables have a lot more nutrients than the parent vegetable. And that's a good thing. And that is the thing that we really want to cash in on. We want to tap into that. Now, here you have a selection of uh, sprouted vegetables also called microgreens. I want us to get into sprouting uh, so that we can tap into the nutritional benefits of sprouted vegetables. You can sprout all sorts of vegetables and uh, you'll be better off for it. Now these are sprouted buckwheat so you can also sprout legumes and this is just to show you the various ways you can have your sprouted vegetables. You can see the lady there applying the sprouted vegetables into uh, the 
sandwich and here's a lady packing uh, sprouted lentils into a cup and uh, you can apply dressing on your sprouted vegetables for some more flavor and uh, you will enjoy your sprouted vegetables a lot more and you can have your sprouted vegetables for lunch anytime anywhere uh, so we're going to learn about sprouting and uh, the way we sprout vegetables is not the traditional way of uh, using soil no soil will be needed and i'm going to show you how to sprout your vegetables in three simple steps in the next video you can sprout at home without any soil at all that is going to be the subject of the next video so please be on the lookout for that that video is going to be coming up in a couple of days until then well this is dr joe signing out and i want you to enjoy the rest of your day